Yo, what's going on YouTube? Carson Cruz. Today we got some new Spotlight Sim Moments cards, and uh, I picked up a couple of them for you to check out today. We got the Diamond Dennis Smith Jr., uh, 99 94, 6 foot 3. He's got uh, 24 Hall of Fame badges. We'll go look through all those when we get there. We also got Nicholas Claxton here. And uh, guys, this card doesn't have quick draw, but you're going to be surprised when you see his release. He actually might, he might not even need quick draw. And then we got Tony Snell, who's yeah, it looks like a defensive specialist here with the 88-99, uh, kind of like Kyrie 90-99, but he's still got good on offense. Some guy named Bryce Sonic has invited me to join a party, and uh, sorry, bro. Record a video. I will get back to you. I, I actually don't have a headset, so it's going to be tough for me to join a party. Guys, if I ignore you, it's not because I don't want to join your party. It's because uh, my headphones don't work on my controller, so yeah, it's, it's a problem there. Anyway, here we go. Uh, those are the three cards that we got. We're going to go into freestyle real quick, and I'll show you the releases, and we'll go through their badges because it's so much easier to go through the badges in freestyle uh, than it is actually to go through them in uh, there. You just you can just break them down a lot easier in freestyle, so that's what we're going to do here today. We're not going to shoot with Dino Raja. I mean, a card I missed out on getting the gameplay on. Uh, kind of sucks, but... All right, so we got Tony Snell. <laughs> He's not a very good dunker. Uh, six finishing badges and then uh, shooting is 11 badges and all of them are on Hall of Fame except range extender is gold So uh, yeah, he's gonna be a pretty good shooter and then playmaking badges. We got downhill quick first step tight handles no handles for days Defensive rebounding 13 chase down clamps defensive leader interceptor. Yeah, dude. He looks freaking fire gold intimidator He looks pretty damn good. He doesn't have a uh, post move lockdown, but that's all right and then uh who else did we get? Dennis Smith Jr. 10, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, he, dude, he is going to be solid. 6 foot 3. I heard Todd Debo say, you yeah, know, you ain't going to go 12 0 with this card. I mean, yeah, you can use the Giants, Todd Debo, and use your off ball defense and win, win money, $250,000, or whatever. <laughs> this is going to be a fun card, bro. No hate. No hate. No hate, man. I, I'm a fan. I just, uh, you got to quit steering people away from using these kinds of cards, man. These are fun cards to use, bro. You got handles for days. You got stop and go, unpluggable space creator, tight handles. I mean, dude, this is a good card right here. And uh, Nicholas Claxton, obviously, you see here, no quick draw. Uh, he's okay on finishing badges. He's just not really great at anything except for defensive and rebounding. Dude is stacked. He's got Hall of Fame chase down. He might be the best, like the most underrated card that we got today. Let's go in here. And uh, we got Tony Snell. We'll look at him first. So. First thing you notice is, is he's got like a uh, normal one hezzy, so he's got big man dribbles. Yeah, he definitely does. That's uh, normal three behind the back. So normal one hezzy. <laughs> and then normal three behind the back is actually the best of the big man behind the backs. Because uh, you actually keep going forwards with it. It's like the one that uh, Bagley has. Kid wants chips. There you go. Eat some chips, buddy. Release is elite, though, man. I love the. Uh, I love this release. I don't know what release it is. Well, we ain't gonna get into that today. But yeah, he's got a very nice release. Uh, take a look at his momentum there. So you saw this. Let's take out the crossover behind the back. His crossover is is pretty weak, man. Uh, not gonna lie, it's that same one that usually put with this behind the back is uh yeah the delayed one but you know what yeah, yeah you dude I've, I've had plenty of success dribbling with marvin bagley and he's got pretty much the same sig so uh yeah no no problems there at least he didn't give him base or he doesn't have base one he's a guard though so that would be kind of crazy if he did uh check out next is uh dennis smith jr you already do dennis smith jr so that's the same money release nice i like i like his uh momentum you just go straight across with it uh and he can do that little move right there oh uh, that's glitchy and he is all fame range extender so uh should be able to pull from you know basically anywhere on the court if i can pull yeah dude my shooting's off my shooting game's off i've been going back and forth between uh using the shop meter and not using the shop meter and uh 
just to throw the game off. If I'm shooting bad, I'll switch. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, look, nice. Let's look at these behind the back. Pro 3, that's a good one. Got a good behind the back. He's got Pro 3 Hezzy here. And you know he's a good dunker, bro. Hot zones, yeah. Dude, they, they ain't giving these cards any hot zones. They didn't quit. They didn't give up on beefing these cards up. Uh, they are just straight transferring what their previous card has and updating stats and badges. Uh, so, yeah. Th these cards right here, they're not going to get too uh, crazy. And that's because I think they're building out spotlight. Historic Spotlight Sim, which is going to be a big W, dude. I, I mean, I haven't even done all Spotlight Sim yet, but... Dude, those cards are just fun to have, man. Those are fun. Like, I still am working on getting some of those uh, regular Spotlight Sims. And I played with most of them by now on other people's accounts. And, uh, yeah, dude, they're, they're good, man. I like them. But, yeah, Dennis Smith Jr. is a bucket. Now it's time to look at Nicholas Claxton, who uh, looks like the best, like, value-wise, going to be the best card in the deal. And, and you have to uh, disregard the quick draw because, like, dude, he has, ba he's basically Marvin Bagley. Like, look at this. It's the same release. It's not... It's not fast by any means. It's very inconsistent without quick draw. Let's put it that way. It could be worse, though, guys. Like, it is not terrible. It's not terrible at all. And, and I mean, dude, like, he, he's got, like, decent everywhere else, so it's not going to be bad. We need to go through and look at his stats. Let's go do that right now. So let's look at... Nicholas Claxton, 94, 92, 93, nice, lowered shot IQ. 88 driving layup's pretty good for a big man. That's going to help him get to the rim. 85 driving dunk, 86 draw foul. That was ball handling. Huh. Post moves, post hook, post fade, all decent. Rebounding, 90, ooh, man, good rebounder. 92 interior defense, 76 perimeter, 84 pass perception. I mean, the steal rating's the only thing that really sucks that I've seen. Spiel ball is 81, like what? If you just dribble straight line with this card, he's okay. First time you try to hit a dribble move, he's probably going to struggle. What do you need, buddy? Yeah, this card looks pretty dope, man. I'm not going to lie. Let's see if he's got that, that one shimmy that I like. The shimmy. No. Oops, that was a post fade. He might, he might have it. Yeah, he does. All right, man. He's got the post shimmy that, or post hook shimmy that I like. Uh, looks like he has a pretty decent dunk package too. Let's check out some of these post animations. Yeah, dude, man, this card might not be too bad, bro. It's gonna be fun to play with. So my idea for this is like, since we're just gonna go over all three of these cards at once, and I'm probably gonna get a game like sell these three so I can buy the other or the other cards, the higher price cards, and get a gameplay uh, in unlimited with that. So we're just gonna go into. A game of triple threat. I almost called a game of freestyle. We just played a game of freestyle. We're going to go into a game of triple threat right now with these three cards. I think it's actually be a pretty decent little triple threat lineup. And you see here, you got the uh, Billy Cunningham Evo card on all day. So that's good till like 2 a.m. Bro, what could be coming later today, man? That's, that's what I want to know. I am ready, bro. Ready. You see on this account, I have three of them. I think I have five on the other on my other account so i only have eight in total but i have used all of them except for like two of them so yeah we're good there i haven't used james harden either or uh, brandon ingram i would like to use them if you have those cards and wouldn't mind me logging on holla holla i would love to do that you can hit me up on youtube leave me a comment or on twitter at carson cruz uh but yeah we're gonna go into triple threat online and uh, you see this is a team i normally run with or have been I'm gonna run with Nick, Tony, and Dennis. Let's do it. Alright, and now I'm quiet. I'm trying to. Alright, let's go. Let's get it. We got Larry Bird, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, Ben Simmons. So, I mean, it'd be a tough matchup for uh, 
It might be a tough matchup for us. Looks like Larry Bird probably gonna be playing the point guard. Hey, get out of there, buddy. You want a piece? You want something to color with? Can you give me a second? No, that's for kids. Don't wait, especially the little ones. Tony Snell. Look at him. Oh my God! Look at him clamps, boy. Clamps all over the court. Oh shit. Tony. There we go. Dennis gets the board. Outlet to Tony. Oh yeah. Give it. Give it up. Give it up. What in the world was that, bro? Oh, Tony with the block. Let's go. I tried to bait him into that. It worked. Oh, yeah. Tony with the splash. What's up, bro? What's up? X, 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 T, 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 y'all. Did he even spell that right? I don't even think he spelled it right. Laps, what? Let's go. All right, hold on. Oh, shit, I missed. All right, come out. I'm going to go fix that. Be right back. All right. We're back. It's 3-2. Dennis Smith. Junior, junior. Peekaboo. Let's go. 6-2. Oh, man. I was way back on that. Slow man. I like this Dennis Smith already. I can tell you. He's going to be nice. Oh, we can get hit with another peekaboo. Let's go. Dennis Smith Jr. peekaboo artist. Let's go. Like I was saying, man, Todd Debo, you like this Dennis Smith Jr. card. I don't know why you was hating on it earlier, saying you need a magic. Or Ben. Like, Ben, yeah, he can go to the rim. Oh, yeah, he can post me up. But guess what? Threes count for more than twos, dude, baby. Let's go. Man, that was a bad, bad shot. Oh my God, it was a good shot. It was just a bad, bad, bad timing. Damn, Tony. Gotta get up there. There we go, Tony. Oh my God, how did I miss that shit? God damn it. Uh, look at that defense, man. Fuck you, bird. Let's go to the house. There we go, Tony. Two for three from Tony, not bad. You gotta clamp up this Benny boy. Clamp and up Larry Bird, let's go. Look at that defense, son. Oh my God, what a lucky ass. What a lucky ass, man. You are sorry, bro. Dennis Smith Jr. <laughs> Why in the hell does it make me? Man, he just faked me out, I guess. And he jump, jumped all the way up there instead of jumping at the goddamn ball. Bro, is it that easy to dunk with him? Oh my. Yeah, get out of here, bro. I'd like to win this game. Nicholas Claxton, man, he ain't really done shit. He still ain't done shit. 24% covered. Late release. Goes in. Whatever. Have yourself a merry little Christmas, bitch. Dude, I get so pissed off playing this goddamn... Oh. Playing this goddamn game. Like, I get so fucking pissed. Oh, man, no. Uh-uh. God damn it. I got baited right into that shit. Yeah, shoot that. There we go. Good D, clack. Click, clack. Click, clack. Click, clack. Let's go. Click, clack. Click, clack. No. Click, clack, motherfucker. No, I mean, dude. I, I mean, like, dude, I like it. I like Ty Debo. I like, I like his videos. I like, I like what he does. Good. But, man, I just hate whenever people just, like, 
get so freaking like hung up on having to use certain cards like nothing pisses me off more it makes me want to just like go watch somebody else's channel is whenever you go watch their review of their car of the new cards coming out and they're like this ain't even really worth looking at because there's not like you know they're not like six foot ten point guards or whatever and, and then it just pisses me off man because some people just don't like playing with that bullshit all the time like Dude, I don't, and when you don't play with those cards, you actually don't run into them that much. I mean, yeah, look, I'm playing Ben Simmons right here, but this is triple threat, bro. In Unlimited, I rarely run into them. Ball game, let's go. I rarely run into the bigger point guards, because I don't use big point guards myself. And so the matchmaking is kind of set up so you don't run into those people all the time. I mean, like, I like running with budget cards. Like, I like running with the Sim cards. I like running with the... The, these spotlight moments cards are like running with the cards that are like under 50 kmt dino raja one of my favorite cards and like i just I, I don't get like you know automatically telling your uh, whole audience that hey you don't want to use these cards at all if i was using your account i would go buy some other card it's like yeah bro well you know that's you and like you know people are paying you to do that and that's fine but like golly man it's just like you just are growing a whole community of people who are just going to think that you have to have those cards or there's not even any reason to play. Like, I mean, looky there, bro. I mean, it isn't like that every time because, look, I use those cards right there that you said don't use. And, like, you go out and you can beat Ben Simmons and shit. Like, it happens. I mean, like, you just you, you don't run into those stupid cards every game. Oh, Dwight Howard pack. Anyway, that's a video for today, man. These cards are okay. Nicholas Claxton's not as good as... I was hoping he would be. Dennis Smith Jr. is great. Tony Snell is pretty good on defense. Uh, dribble moves, yeah, kind of lackluster. But uh, like Dennis Smith Jr., man, that card's awesome. Uh, I mean, you can pick it up for like 19 KMT. Go for it. Uh, he's totally worth it. Tony Snell, probably worth 15, 20K. And uh, Click Clack, probably worth like 4 to 5 KMT. Uh, I didn't get to shoot with him, but like, eh, it, it's not really. I mean, it, it, his release, he did kind of need quick draw. I mean, I thought maybe he didn't. Uh, but, it, yeah, dude, it's going to be tough to shoot without quick draw. No matter. I mean, it's not a terrible release. Don't get me wrong. It's not terrible. Uh, it could have been a lot worse. And it's one of the faster ones without quick draw. Uh, but, yeah, I just wasn't a huge fan of it. Man, I am going to rack up on these Dwight Howard packs, huh? Sweet. Dude, I am so, like, tired of playing, like, triple threat and not seeing those cards. And I get it. Like, I'm 2-2 two and two right now on this board run. But, like, you know, just it, it, my motivation to play is just not there right now. I don't know what it is, but it's just not there. I'd just much rather just talk about the game than actually play it right now. Uh, and really enjoy doing that tier list. And I'm thinking about doing an all-time teams tier list. So, like... Basically, if you played for a team for three or more years, then you qualify for the list for that team. And, you know, just starting out with uh, kind of like I did in, in there and just going team by team in that uh, spotlight tier list and just ranking the best uh, players from that team of all time. Maybe picking like 20 players from each team and just rolling from there. But anyway, that's going to be the video for today. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you want to see something like that. This is Carson Cruz. We out.